Right now, we've got a hostage rescue operation at the Werner facility in Area R2M, southwestern Iuli. It's being led by a team of regular military forces. The terror group we're up against is likely to stage a large-scale counterattack. You'll be providing close air support, going in ahead of our commando forces to destroy surveillance sites. You'll also be responsible for striking the hostiles around the facility to ensure a smooth approach for our commandos. Once we've secured the nine Greymen hostages held in the central facility, we'll need you to back up the commandos as they pull out of the area. On this op, you'll be working alongside a UNAF tactical fighter squadron, the Ridgebacks. Unlike you guys, they're about as elite a force as you can get. If we don't rack up more kills than they do, it's going to impact my bottom line, and thus yours. Dismissed. Operations. Sky Eye will take over command of all Arrows units. 
think the previous attack came from a railgun. Second wave of fire imminent. All units, proceed through the canyon and escape this airspace. Go, rookie! Don't fall behind Viper! Second wave of hostile fire detected. Sending estimated point of landing and blast zone to all units. Get out of the blast zone before my countdown hits zero. Five, four, three, two, impact! Hey, the fine and us in the canyon too! Be advised, the railgun blast disseminates flammable gas into the atmosphere, triggering a large secondary explosion. This blast may cause damage, even at low altitudes. Once you see the initial explosion, get away from the site immediately. Work your way around the secondary explosion. Incoming blast. Watch the danger zone on your radar. Ah, when are they gonna stop? Five, four, three, two, impact. 15 kilometers to escape line. Don't forget the altitude restriction. 10 kilometers to escape line, hurry. Terrorist groups were apparently planning to commandeer an anti-air railgun in Turkey. We we're too late to stop them. And now it's in the hands of the enemy. They're using MenHer-3, a geosynchronous satellite, to aim the gun. Due to the Comprehensive Space Warfare Ban Treaty, we're not allowed to touch it. Luckily, the gun can only fire extreme close-range SS ordnance. That gives it the shortest firing range we can hope for. Let me be clear, though, that it's extreme close range only in astronomical terms. What's more, its power is overwhelming. It can cover a four million foot radius, which means we've essentially lost air superiority in Eastern Europe and the Western Middle East. We also have a confirmed SSTO launch from the West Indies a few days back. That presents the possibility that Werner's satellites have been seized by the terrorists. 